What's up, y'all? James Casino, Chocolate Man in the Van. And if you're looking for a fit for expedition, you found him right here. You know what's funny? I don't think I've ever done video from this spot in the truck. And it's probably actually the best spot because it's a seat. Well, let me show you. Here's the seat that I sit in. So not necessarily when I'm on the computer because I have another table for that. Over here, I got a whole desk set up. Kelly works remotely and I do a lot of editing and that kind of thing, so. But I sit here and I can watch TV or I can look out the window if I have the curtain open. That's the weird Wild West van life meetup. Right through the window there. They're right across the street over there. I don't know how much it costs to go to Weird Wild West, but you know, they're really crammed in the parking lot over there and it costs nothing to do this and I guess there's entertainment that you can't go to unless you you know pay for the event well it's not my type of entertainment so I it's fine that's fine I'm, I'm happy not to pay for it last year or it was two years ago I came I paid it was only 60 bucks then so it's not a big deal um, now it's really crowded too with cones and people watching the parking lot and all that kind of stuff so it was 60 bucks then now it's over a hundred too much but especially for most people who are living in vans two years ago Hank Topless from Tucson performed in town but not for that for their event Hank Topless is a great old style country music singer guitarist and he also plays some punk rock music which is also those are my two things so I enjoyed that show two years ago. I didn't even, I did not even really hang out with the van life group. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not discounting their tastes or anything like that. I'm not saying that's just not my taste. So this year, my friend Bria Burns, who played at our meetup in February at Ironwood, and keep track of the channel because we'll be talking about the meetup coming up next February, first weekend or second weekend, haven't determined yet, in Ironwood, which is always a great time live music, big planned parties, and that kind of thing. So if you're a band lifer, RV lifer, schooly lifer, box truck lifer, whatever, you're gonna wanna take advantage of that. You're not gonna wanna miss that. So obviously I will be going to see Bria. She's performing tonight and on Sunday. Tonight it's at a little Mexican restaurant, Taqueria Outlaw, which I'm gonna go check out tonight, have some food there. Sunday night it's at Electric Brewing, which was actually not Sunday night, Sunday day, which is a little bit of a drive out of town, but that's okay because I'm gonna leave on Sunday. So I'm gonna go check that out, bring my 32 ounce crawler in and get a fill, get a, a, get some beer filled, and I think they have food and stuff, so I'll eat, and then I'm gonna head probably towards Tombstone and that kind of thing. There was a lot of stuff that I passed that I wanted to get video and photos of for Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and all that. If you're not a member of my Facebook group, it's fit for expedition fun seekers dash share your travel and exploration so there's a lot of other channels not just channels but friends other social media people whatever that post uh, videos photos whatever you know on the in, in the group that are about travel about adventuring that kind of thing all over the country and even around the world so it's pretty cool and it's fun to be a part of and welcome you to post there if you have videos like that you don't have to be a full-time nomad you don't have to be living in your vehicle full or part-time you can actually you know just be somebody who drives around stays in hotels or whatever I don't care you know we want to see your stuff we want to see your adventures I love roadside attractions so if you have a any roadside attractions that you can post That'd be really cool too. But anyway, so that's the Facebook group. I'm also on Instagram, Fit4 Expedition, F I T, number four, Expedition. That's on Instagram. You know, just let's just keep in touch. Uh, so, anyway, today I'm going to walk around a little bit around Bisbee, probably, and check out some things. But before that, I wanted to show you something that I have um, in my truck that I keep for fitness purposes. And I don't know how many of you know, but I'm actually an A certified personal trainer. But it, it's interesting because I'm an A-certified personal trainer, but I have a titanium ankle, titanium knee from an accident in, in uh, 1998. I have 
I've fractured my other ankle. I've broken both wrists completely through. I um, have had two lower back surgeries, you know, lumbar surgeries. I have a lot of a lot of injuries. So while yes, I work out a lot, I'm in the gym a lot, and I do have a pretty substantial gym in my home, more like a commercial gym. I really, you know, I'm not always able to be fit like a bodybuilder because I have a lot of injuries, a lot more injuries than most people have. I want to show you what I keep and what I carry in the box truck, um, and it. And it's it weighs I think it weighs 25 pounds so there is some weight to it but let's let's get into it so what exactly is this device that I am speaking of well this magical device is known as a kettlebell but not just any kettlebell because this one's selectorized this kettlebell happens to be by the company Weeder now I bought this 20 pound max kettlebell I actually bought it at a thrift store for like five six bucks but you can find these online and I'll put some links in the description to some different companies that sell them so obviously I'm not getting anything out of it but I just I just want to share the information now the cool thing about this one is it only takes up less than a cubic foot and it's only 20 pounds most of us have room for something that weighs 20 pounds most of us have room for something that is selectorized and this efficient and only takes up like 10 by 10 by 8 inches or 9 inches on this particular one you move it to this way to unlock it and that way to lock it put your finger in here and that's how you move it so you can do a variety of exercises with it not all raises curls or even triceps extensions, although my ceiling is too low to show you that, but you get the idea. I'll do some research. I'll check out some companies that make these so that you can check them out and uh, see which one works best for you. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be recommending some other pieces of equipment that I think would be great for nomads, whether full-time, part-time, that kind of thing. Obviously, you can't take this in your suitcase if you travel by plane. If you're driving in a car, staying in hotels, yeah, you might be able to, and you can stop at parks, work out, or you can take it up to your hotel room. This is mo mostly for van lifers, schoolie lifers, box truck lifers, RV lifers, truck camper lifers, that kind of thing. And I don't mean full-time lifers, I mean just, you know, anytime lifers. Hope this works out for you. Hope this is a good suggestion for you. If you, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, I'll get back to you. I will, I will answer comments. And I'm um, glad you're here and thanks for being here and we'll see you next time.